I start putting a line on a CD tray uh, to snort. Uh, you, and you're, you're in, in the, the limo. limo. And I just happen to notice that he pulls something else out of his pocket. And next thing I know, he's got a little pipe and he's smoking. So I just started rubbing my hand along his thigh to see where it was going. And it went the direction I had intended it to go. And this is why they got rid of Tucker, because he is not afraid to do outlandish interviews, go overseas and do some true journalism and reporting, no matter how crazy the subject may be. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you guys could please share so we can get the word out there. So Tucker did this interview with this guy Guy Larry Sinclair. Now this guy's been around for quite some time and people have dismissed this dude and Tucker actually brought him on his new Twitter or the X show and did an interview with them and just it outlines all of this stuff that his alleged right we got to put a legend out there we got to say this alleged relationship kind of little fling that he had with Barack Obama back in 1999 and with this this guy recalls everything to the T. There's a limo driver involved. He remembers his name. He remembers the hotel he, or motel that he was staying in. He knows exactly on what part of town it was, what city it was, the time of year. All of this stuff he can recount in great detail about this scenario. So it's just, it's a crazy to hear stories. And this is actual journalism, reporting, going to whether you disagree with somebody or not, actually talking to them and hearing their point of view. And this dude goes into crazy detail exactly what happened to the fact that where he was just in town, right? He was in town for a ceremony, I believe for, he said for his godson. And then he wanted to have some fun, wanted to party a little bit. And a limo driver took him to this place where he allegedly met Barack Obama. Barack Obama got in the limo. They went to get themselves a little stuff to calm the nerves, to lighten the mood, excite things up a little bit. And I understand that. I mean, I really do. And then, you know, they like to share nice little plentiful stories and Barack got plenty of knowledge from all these stories that they told. That's the safest way of putting it. This interview is just crazy the way, and I'm just, all I'm gonna say is whether you believe this person or not, the all the things that he can recount in detail is what makes the story that much amazing. And Tucker presses him on everything. He'll go over something, he'll rewind it back a little bit, hold on, let's touch on this. Hold on, I have a question about this. And this guy is a complete open book about anything that he has happened in the past as far as criminal history, any drugs he's might have done, him getting around town, because he goes into detail like he got around town. So he, it, it's like this guy has zero filter, like he almost has nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to lie about. And I saw some people going around, oh, people are quick to believe this, but they won't believe E. Jean Carroll against Donald Trump and all this stuff. The difference between that is this one, she can't remember anything. She can't remember the year, the month, when it happened, just, oh, it happened at this store and everybody was there and I, you know, I would have screamed for help, but then I didn't because I just felt it wasn't the proper thing. This is a You're fake You're recounting your version story. of events here right now to the audience. You referenced the trial. You did not go to the trial and actually right. testify. Do you wish that you had testified? No, it wouldn't have made a difference. This was a rigged deal. This was a, my lawyer said, sir, you don't have to do it. I actually said, I think I should, it would be respectful. They said, sir, don't do it. This is a fake story and you don't want to give it credibility. One That's thing why you, I didn't go. One thing you did do in this. And I swear, and I've never done that. And I swear to you. I have no idea who the hell, she's a Mr. whack President, job. You, you did not tell This guy, on the other hand, remembers everything in detail. So whether you want to believe whatever scenario or not, if you want to believe E. Jean Carroll and dismiss this guy or believe them both or say that they're both whack jobs, whatever you want to say, at the end of the day, he can recount everything she can't. Now, right, they went, they found him liable, right, for abuse, but not for the higher crime. I don't know how that works. He's found liable for the abuse, 
but not from completely taking it from her. So I don't know how all that works. And he has a defamation suit. And I think he just lost the second one. They ruled in her favor or whatever. So I don't even know how all that works. But if, if this tragic event happened to you, I would think you'd be able to recount everything. You'd remember every single detail. Yeah, he had on a Hawaiian shirt. He had on red shoes. You would be able to remember everything. With this guy, with this Larry Sinclair, with this Obama situation, he remembers everything in detail but yeah i was definitely looking to party and did you make that clear to the driver oh yeah yeah oh yeah there was no misunderstanding how how and... how direct were you about that? Uh, extremely <laughs> extremely <laughs> extremely okay yeah there was there was no doubt what i was looking for okay uh and he picked me up at my hotel in gurney and drove into chicago pulled up in a bar outside and there's this guy that's introduced to me as Barack Obama. It was literally that casual. So if you guys haven't watched the interview, I highly suggest you guys watch it just to hear this this crazy story, the way all this stuff unfolds. And this guy, I'm telling you, has no filter. It's like he has nothing to be ashamed of. And he said he basically came forward because Barack was up there trying to say that he was all clean and he's never done this and this. And he said he saw this guy on, on TV, on the DNC convention, was like, hold on. I'm sitting here on my TV. He said he was in Mexico. I'm sitting here seeing this guy on TV, knowing that me and this dude had some wild nights together. And now he's recounting like he's talking like he's an angel and he's like that just didn't sit right with me and you know they're gonna dismiss it. anybody that comes up with allegations you know you have the Cosby allegations the L R Kelly all, everybody is gonna be dismissive but with this individual here the way he goes into detail I'll say it for a thousand times is just insane and he does not miss a beat so it's gonna be interesting to see what ends up happening with this whole situation not a damn thing so I would love to hear your guys thoughts about this do you guys believe this dude do you guys think he's full of it or what Same same thing with the E. Jean Carroll situation. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you guys could please share to get the message out there. And I will catch you guys on the next one.